a pleasure to be here today. So everybody knows that the size of the opportunity to increase lending to SMEs is very large. I mean, you all know it. Coming from the, uh, the recent survey that the IDB did, in 2008, about 66%, two-thirds of banks in Latin America had SMEs, part of their central business strategy for growth. And this year, that number has increased to 93%. So people are aware of the opportunity in SME finance. And according to some recent estimates by the IFC, we can see that the size of this pie that's out there is very large, $2.5 trillion. $2.5 trillion in unmet needs for lending to micro and small businesses throughout the world. And in Latin America, that number is $400 billion. If you ignore the micros and you only focus on formal registered SMEs that exist today, Banks in Latin America have to increase lending by 75% to meet current unmet demand. That's not even taking into account the large numbers of new SMEs that are going to come into being as economic growth happens and as this missing middle in the region fills out. So there's a big opportunity there. Why, is, why are SMEs kind of the last frontier in banking, in finance and lending? Why is it so difficult to lend to SMEs? Well, these problems are also very well known, right? If you're lending to a salaried individual, what you have to do is go out and verify their salary. If you're lending to a large corporation, you have a lot of financial information about that company, and the size of financing is so large that you can basically pay the costs to go out and evaluate that business in detail. But SMEs, you're talking about a larger number of smaller loans with little information available to evaluate risk. You have little information, and you can only bear a small transaction cost to evaluate it. So what are the current approaches? Well, you can take the human evaluation approach, which is basically sending around your loan officers to kick the tires of the SMEs, look at their books, look at their statements, and everything. That works, but that's very expensive, number one. It, um, you know, this is the microfinance approach. That increases the cost of loan origination tremendously. Second, you have to build up this capacity among all of your loan officers, which is very limiting in terms of reaching scale. You have to train them all on how to do this, and then once you've trained them through experience, which comes through success and failure, which is also expensive, then you have to keep them, and you have to stop other banks from trying to hire them away, which is also a big problem. The other approach is to move away from this subjective human-based screening and instead follow more of a um, kind of the approach that banks tend to use now, which is to take what information is available at low cost and do scoring on it. Take their application, socio-demographic information. Take their credit history, if they have a personal credit history. And take some security. You can evaluate those things much faster, put those into a scoring model, take the security you need and lend. So that's the predominant approach right now. Shortcoming of that approach is, first of all, a lot of good SMEs out there don't have this information. They don't have individual credit history. And they don't have the collateral to pledge. And second of all, if you think fundamentally about screening and about deciding which SMEs to lend to, this isn't really what you want to look at, right? You're not concerned so much about what they did in the past. You want to know what they're going to do tomorrow, what they're going to do with your money tomorrow, if they can take your $10,000 and turn that into $20,000, and then if they'll pay you back or not. So this backward-looking information isn't exactly what you want. And as you all know, anybody who has mutual funds anyway, past performance is not indicative of future performance necessarily. When economic conditions change, credit history isn't necessarily the best predictor, particularly for SMEs. All of these problems mix together into high costs, low information, high risk, and difficulty in financing the segment. So these are the set of problems. And this is the set of problems we set out to bring new tools to the financial sector to help address. And that's where we've developed this tool that, first of all, is a computer-based tool. So it takes out a lot of the human-based evaluation to keep transaction costs low and make it highly scalable so that a large number of smaller SME loans is profitable for banks. Second of all, instead of looking backwards at the history of the business, this looks forwards at their future earnings potential, what the, banks are going to be, what the SMEs are going to be able to do in the future with your money, which is what you really care about. Finally, this comes out in kind of a quantitative way. This spits out a credit score that when other courses of information are available, you can combine very easily with that other information for a more complete picture of risk. 
And when that other source, those other sources of information are not available, you can use this as a standalone way to access SMEs. So what is this magic, little magic box we made? Basically, it's taking a lot of what those individual loan officers do and computizing it. But it's not quite an expert system, but it is looking at the individual at the center of the business, evaluating the entrepreneur themselves that's running this SM, at their psychological profile, their intelligence, their honesty and character, and their business skills using tools that are called psychometrics, which is a fancy sounding word for tests that measure an individual. The idea here is that we're testing fundamental characteristics of an individual that owns and runs a business that allow you to predict with remarkable accuracy how well they'll do in running that business and their likely willingness to repay, their level of honesty and character. So not, so much, not only whether or not they can succeed in investing this new capital, but whether or not they can pay back. How does this work in practice? Small business owners come into a branch, they take this 30 to 40 minute assessment that we have loaded on computers, terminals, handheld phones, etc. They answer a set of dynamic psychometric questions and then we build the profile. Just to give a couple examples of questions. Other people's opinions are important to me or not. True or false? They answer the question, we start to build the profile. Another question. A big part of success is luck. True or false? Answer the question, the profile continues to be built. A third one. Remember this number for five seconds. Show you a number. We hide it for five seconds, and then you have to repeat it. Answer right or wrong. That's a quick and dirty measure of intelligence. We go building a profile. Using the combination of these types of questions, we can build a fairly rigorous model of personality and entrepreneurial ability that can take this unknown segment of the market, this difficult to assess segment of the market, and sort out the wheat from the chaff. Figure out exactly where the big opportunities are for these clients that are so difficult to evaluate. The impact of this type of tool in practice is basically in existing SME segments where banks are currently working, we can reduce the fault by about 25 to 40%. And even more interestingly, more exciting in terms of the SME opportunity is that we can increase the level of SME lending. Our partner banks have increased the level of SME lending by three times without increasing the level of risk and the level of arrears.